Heyo, my name is Mini Shadow, and welcome to the 2.1.2 patch notes for KTRAM. Let's head on over to the update board and select our new patch notes. And as you can see, again, we have a bunch of things to cover. So many updates, so many things, so many notes. Let's get started. First up, we have Super Potions. As you can see here, we are able to turn our older potions into super potions by applying some gem dust. Next, we have Inventory Space Indicator. If you look at the bottom right hand corner, you'll see 1 out of 28. That will count up as your inventory fills. New cosmetics have been added to the store. Let's go take a look. I'm not quite sure what's new in here, but I think the Wizard Crown, the Wizard Floaters, Blaze Sword, Blaze, Blaze Doggo, Blaze Wings, <laughs> Yellow Octopus, Pumpkin Man, and the Pink Scythe. The Pink Scythe being my favorite, I happen to bump into Kiros and see it from the man himself. A slider has been added to input related interfaces. I grabbed a couple potions and headed over to the trader just to demonstrate that we now have a nice slider to help us uh, choose our amount. Indoor logic for lighting and clouds. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any actual footage of this, but it is really cool nonetheless. Added new character customization, hair and shirts. I did take a look at this one as well, but I couldn't tell which ones were new. Here we are going over the options for hair. If you are more familiar with the older options than I am, then you can probably point out the new ones. Next, we have the chess pieces. Again, I'm not sure which ones are new, but maybe you do. Just a few more options here, and that should be all of them. Added the ability to turn vials back into molten glass. Very helpful. Added right-click menu with support for multiple entities. This will make it a lot easier to select something in a big stack. Added settings option to disable all system notifications. If you like a clean chat box, this option may be for you. Added ability to disable party and guild invites and made invites more strict. I believe this can also be found in our settings as well. Added failed shard as a small chance when failing to enchant via tier 5 shards. This will be a tiny <laughs> relief when uh, failing enchants. Fixes issues with boss health frame. Very useful. It was very buggy before. Glad it's fixed. Fixed minor UI issues across the board. Fixes guild chat input field max length. Fixes hotbar not working for new players. This one was an incredibly frustrating one for some people, let me tell you. Fixes minor issues with zooming when UIs open. Fixes bank input not hiding when exiting bank. This was a funny one because sometimes it would just get stuck on your screen. Even when entering the bank again, it would still be there. Fixes mobs being able to drop items on doorways. This was funny. It would prevent you from being able to pick up your loot. Fixes enter key toggle chat in leaderboards UI. Whenever you press enter, it would open up the chat box, I assume. Fixes mob related hit points issues when spawning. I believe uh, sometimes when you would teleport somewhere or log into the game, the enemy's health bars would be visible. Fixes being unable to exit certain NPC dialogue. Fixes region caching desync when changing accounts. Fixes walking on mushrooms causing you to get stuck. Imagine. Fixes random combat error messages when dealing AOE. Nice. Your chat box would just fill with with failed messages. It was, it was not glory. Fixes divinity effect persisting after death. Fixes hotbar grayed out elements not updating on login. Fixes stamina not properly updating when following players. I thought this was fixed, but I guess uh, it needed an update. Fixes being able to sell to the store with a full inventory. Small but handy. Fixes items vanishing when trading party with a full inventory. That sounds terrifying. Fixes divine blessing divinity not boosting your strength. I'm glad somebody found that because missing out on 10 or 20% damage is a lot. Fixes interface not closing when moving right after opening them. It works. Health bars appearing on mobs when teleporting from another area. Yeah, this is the one I was mentioning before. Fixes take all from loot bag stopping when one of the items can't fit. We can now loot on a full inventory. Fixes mob duplicates in the collection log. All variants are now one mob. 
Heading over to the collection log and looking at the mini ice knights, you can see there's not a million of them in the collection log. Also, our progress has been reset. Fixes disconnects caused by athletics, walking into walls, object interactions, and stunning. As I'm sure many of you know, this one was very painful. Any stun could pretty much DC you. I did about 300 kills of Snow Queen with it myself. Fixes speed potion, not updating combat attack rate properly, and interfe interfering with freezing effects. I'm not sure if the speed potion is actually working as intended at the moment. I think this may have been a confusion in the wording of the bug report, and I think speed potions also have a reduction in attack speed. Quinoa is now stackable, up to three. The credits have been updated with the latest info, always good. Orlings now always drop ore on death. Updated rarity of pets so they display when dropped. This is a good change. Gotta flex on all your friends, let them know what you got. Random event mobs will no longer appear indoors. This is great, we have a safe spot to AFK. Rebalanced Colossal set to be tankier and Hellkeeper to offer more DPS. While both of these changes are good, I wanted to add a little note and say I believe the real issue with melee is getting to the point of being able to equip these sets in the first place. Mimics and Golden Golems have been removed from the daily tasks and have been replaced with Molar Bears. And last but not least, reworked combat logic. Should fix errors pertaining to Skeleton King, Hardcore Iron Man, Death Bug. I think the devs had fun with this one trying to figure it out. I think it was a little tricky for them, but it looks like they got it in the end. And that's our 2.1.2 patch notes for KTRAM. We got a bit of content, some quality of life, and some bug fixes. Fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.